the context of organization document is going to look at the organization's ability to achieve intended outcomes. This covers up a couple of points um, within the 27001 standard in one easy document. What we're looking at here are internal and external issues. So first we're going to have a look at internal issues that may or may not affect your information security management system. It's pre-populated, although you don't have to accept the ones that are in here. These are ones that come up reasonably regularly when we do a engagement. So we could have a look at things like people, time, organizational structure, etc. And we're going to record an overview. The overview of the internal issue could be positive as well as potentially negative. So here where we say people, internally there are no resources trained or experienced in the delivery. In that case, we're going to add an item onto the risk register and we're going to manage it through risk management. But alternatively, internally, there may well be resources trained and ex experienced. And to show that we have considered it, we would also put in, were it a positive answer, the positive answer. We're going to consider things like time, structure, we're going to look at technologies, so internally, are we using leading or bleeding edge or self-developed technologies? Does that require a risk item or are we looking at off-the-shelf packages and known, bought, stable technologies? There may be things around governance, so we may have a strong governance culture or a weak governance culture. We may be early on our governance journey. We're looking at things like key stakeholders. So internally, are there any positive or negatives around key stakeholders? Staff retention. Uh, are we in a market or a location where staff are leaving? You know, competition is high. That leads on to the availability of a reliable and competent workforce. That may be that it is available or it may be that, that we're struggling to, to find the, the right resources. So we're going to go through these. If they don't apply, we're going to delete the row. If they do apply, we're going to add in some information. And there may be ones that are specific to you that you can add to. We're going to follow a very similar format for external issues. These are issues external to the business. So again, legislation changes within your geography. Um, in the UK, the impacts of Brexit and the changes within data protection law. There may be legislation changes coming in if you're in a regulated environment or a regulated industry. Again, both positive and negative. If a negative and it needs managing, we're going to add it to the risk register. So we're looking at relationships with external stakeholders, technological advances that may mean that our products and services require continual enhancement and changes. Externally, the economic climate um, at the time of recording, we're just coming out of a pandemic and therefore there are considerations within the economy. And we're going to look at things like competition. There is competition, there is no competition, positive and negative. And again, we're looking to identify those so that we can manage them through risk management. Then we're going to look at our interested parties. This is pre-populated for you. The only two that won't necessarily, I wouldn't know our group ownership and a funding entity. Um, but this could be pretty much as is, just checking down it and making sure that this is correct. So what this says is who are the interested parties and what interest do they have on our uh, <coughs> information security management system that, that we are completing. You can see two boxes at the bottom in relating to blue, key suppliers and key customers. These are gonna be recorded elsewhere. And if this is commercially sensitive information or a document you're gonna share wider, you don't have to include them here but it can show that we've uh, considered them when building our information security management system.